In this video I'm going to show you the Solve Me Mobile's website. When you first go to uh, the website you'll notice that up here it says Welcome Guest. If you want to save any of your progress you'll need to sign up for an account which will require you to have an email address. The first thing you'll want to do is click on this green button that says Play. When you click on the green button you'll see that there are three different categories, Explorer, Puzzler, and Master. The Explorer one is the easier puzzles and there's, I think there's 60 or so puzzles, there's 60 puzzles in that first um, level, and they get harder as you go. Eventually, if you get to the master, they go all the way up to 200 puzzles and they get to be very difficult. You can also go up here to the Solve Me community where just all kinds of users have made their own puzzles. Some of them are, are, are pretty simple, some of them are ridiculously hard. So when you begin, uh, you'll want to begin on level one just to kind of get the idea. It will go through a tutorial up here that will show you what to do. But basically what this means is it, it'll give you a number up here and this number is balanced according to this balance right here. So right now the way this puzzle is it means that this side and this side, these two sides are balanced and they equal to 10. So therefore these two sides must be the same number. And once you have, once you think that you have the correct numbers in there, go ahead and click Submit. It will make a fancy sound and tell you if you are correct or not. Then you'll move on to the next puzzle. Sometimes on here it won't tell you a number up here, it will just show you that these two sides are balanced. So therefore, if this side is 7, for it to be balanced, this side must be 7 as well. You'll just continue trying the puzzles as you go. You can always click on Review Solution right up here and it will take you back to what you just did so you can see your solution. You can also drag this out. So what I just did is I grabbed a hold of this and dragged it out and it will show it as an equation that the, the purple, tri, uh, the purple uh, diamond is equal to the green heart. I can go on then to puzzle three. Now they're becoming a little bit more difficult. So this side and this side are again balanced, but this uh, trapezoid is equal to two. So therefore this side has two plus two, which is four. So this moon shape must also be four. If we drag this out and look at it, we can see that eight is equal to two of something plus this shape. So two times two is four. Four plus what equals eight? So therefore this must be four. Um, once you get going, these get even harder to the point where you may need to use paper and pencil to be able to do them. Um, again, if you want to drag this out, grab a hold of the balance, and you can make it as an equation that a trapezoid plus a heart equals three hearts. You know that the heart is equal to two, so this side is equal to two plus two plus two, which is six. And this side is two plus blank equals six. Two plus what equals six? Two plus four equals six. So I encourage you to just keep working on these. If you go back to the puzzles menu, it will show you with the little stars which ones you have completed. Just go through and see how many of these you can complete. If you are, are stuck on one, you can go back to this puzzle menu and then you can just choose, let's say we didn't want to do 5 through 30, you can just choose puzzle 31 and go straight to it.